Well, guys, uh, on this one, guys, we got something very, very simple. Well, it's not. We got something simple to work on. Um, basically, uh, I don't think I've, I. I think I did a window, how to change a window pane, video, but I never showed anybody or you guys how to replace or how to replace the window latches, the little uh, window locks on a school bus. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of a window that seems to be sagging on one side because a plastic little lock locking mechanism uh, wears out that little point that goes into the hole that locks it in place uh, gets rounded and uh, basically you get a sagging window so let me go ahead and take care of that window and let me show you guys how to repl uh, replace one of those sliding locks all right guys well guys uh, this is what I mean by a sagging window this lock has been rounded off at the end so basically this window is sagging to where if you pick it up it'll somewhat hold but as soon as you hit a bump or something this lock re releases and drops this is just making the window basically go out of square and they, they don't look that nice dude so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and replace this little lock on there and of course I'm gonna do the one right next to it because it's sagging on the other side let me go ahead and get these two done so you guys can see how we replace these locks alright I might be able to get a better you guys might be able to get a better view of this one since the camera is a lot closer I was able to angle it in a different way so basically this little pin you have to push it down into the latch there that releases the latch bring it down to the two notches and basically here's round it off guys so here's my new latch set up my spring set up my little peg that's a little hole that this little roll pin goes into. Alright. So, when we slide it in, basically it's a little behind it. So that's why we have to push through this little access port. We have to push this forward to align this with a little hole. Run this peg into it and that kind of holds it in place. This is what gives you that little spring action for the latch to want to return to the lock position. All right guys, let me go ahead and slide this in. I'm going to use this one to push. I'm going to use this little screwdriver to find the slot. And there we go, guys. That's it right there. And I'm going to push this pin into place. Then And it's in guys. Alright. Lubricate the uh, latches. And lock. Windows no longer sag and the locks are actually in. So guys, that's how we do the window locks in these buses. There you go, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate both of them. And just make sure it's got enough lubrication. That way the sliders don't get scared.
stuck. And in this case, the window was sagging. So, voila. There we go, guys. That was done. Well, guys, uh, I just decided to, you know, show you guys something that we don't do every day, but I mean, it happens. Uh, drivers don't close the windows right, or uh, kids open them, don't close them right. After a while, guess what? The little locks wear out. Uh, windows start bouncing out of uh, out of position, and they're lopsided. That doesn't look very, very nice, dude. And uh, basically, ACs are working real hard to try and cool down this bus. Well. Guess what? With a window that's cracked open, it's just gonna work a little bit harder. So uh, we tend to go through these real quick, and whenever we do find worn clips, we go ahead and replace them. And uh, they're pretty simple, guys. I mean, uh, we've done so many. So to us, it's a like a two-three minute job. Uh, I recorded everything on True Time. I was going a little bit slower because I wanted to make sure I got everything that I was doing on the video. So, but well, guys. I'm going to go ahead and call this one uh, done, and uh, I do appreciate you watching, and uh, like and subscribe.